Okay, so a lot of y'all have been DMing me about questions with my shot creator, and I said, why not make a whole video dedicated to my shot creator, right? So, so this is the art of shot creating, or as I like to call it, creating shots, or, or, or running around the screen, waiting for a brick wall screen animation, and then shooting a fade, potentially demoralizing your opponent and making him want to delete the game. Here we go. So to be a good shot creator, you want to be able to hit fades consistently without missing. To do this, you need to go practice fades and jump shots in your my court. I'll give you a second to do that. All right, you good? You good? You got to time it down? Good, because you're going to need it. All right, so look. Now, for me, I mainly play two, so this is what this video is going to be centered around. Get it? <laughs> Get it? <laughs> Center it around, get it? Because you're running around the center all game. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking hilarious, bro. All right, let me start playing and get to the gameplay. Okay, so I'm going to break this down clip by clip. Now, this clip right here, you're going to see the center actually picks up on me on the screen. I, I bump him for some reason. I get a weird animation. I get a little bit of space. So that's the only reason I went up with that. Do not do that if you don't get space enough space. Like, you have to know, like, exactly when to go up with a shot. Now, in this clip, all you got to do is worry about what the center is going to do. You see the center kind of picks up, but he doesn't. I see he's not going to contest the shot. So that's why I went up with a, a fade. It was kind of like a, a standing fade. I don't know how to explain it. As a shocker your objective is to try to bring the center out and make him make a decision all right so basically your guard is gonna be getting hit by screens the whole game so if your center is not helping then your guard is useless like the other guard is useless he's gonna be getting hit by screens you see the center still didn't pick up so guess what I went with a fade he's trying to play both the passing lane and you know the shot but he's not contesting the shot at all now I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about right so in this clip you're gonna see the the center actually picks up you see the guard he gets stuck in an animation a screen animation and the center actually picks up now you would think a lot of this is self-explanatory but a lot of people do not like understand this concept right you see the center picks up now the pass actually has to be a good pass if the guard is standing right in front of the center when you pass the ball do not pass the ball just reset the ball or another option you can go with is throwing up lobs now i don't throw up lobs because some reason i don't know what it is i put lob city pass on hall of fame it just just does not work but if you if you and your center are on the right page you guys play with each other all the time you could just throw a lob he could stand right under the basket and he'll easily catch the lob every single time now back in the real time you see my i don't know what happened my center just he just threw up the layup and it just went all wrong but I was in the right place at the right time. I went back out to the three-point line once he went up with the layup, and I knew if he got his board, I'd be open for a wide open three, so that's what I did. Now, right here on this clip, you see, I'm, I'm using the screen again. The center is playing very high. I missed my center this time. I missed him on the pass, but I went around the screen, went for an easy layup. The, playing, the center is playing too high. And he's not playing under the basket, so I just went for a layup. Now, we're going to rewind this again. Now, look, the thing is, this is why I say a lot of centers do not have brains. Most centers that I play with will not slip the screen. They will literally just sit there and wait till the guard hits the screen to actually roll to the basket when the paint is wide open the whole time because the center is playing so high. Now this stuff is kind of weird, I'm not gonna lie. So I knew the center wasn't gonna actually pick up. I knew he was just hedging, but I tried to go for a fade, but I went for like a, a jump shot either way, but I kind of adjusted like in real time. I kind of like had the reaction time to adjust the actual shot to like a, a real jump shot. So that's the reason <laughs> that it still worked out. So I'm just keeping this clip in just so y'all know that sometimes the center, you got to know when the center is like fake hedging. Like he's not going to actually contest the shot. He's just sitting there just to try to scare you. But if you were watching the end of the clip, you seen that the layup went wrong. Now look, this is where it went wrong. This is on the center and not me. I passed in the ball. He did not have to go with that trash layup, right? Because if you look, I was wide open at the three point line. If you pass, when you pass to your center, the other center, the other team center is literally going to go back to the basket and you're going to have a wide open three every single time. But fortunately, the other guard actually sucked. He missed his wide open three in the corner. You see me, I green, easy shot. 21 set, 22 set, actually. Now, those kids were elite one, but they weren't really the best players. Like, those, those kids actually suck. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure their win percentage was, like, very low. They just actually played the game a lot. They probably had, like, 10,000 games played with elite one, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. So, right now, I'm going to show you all against a game I played yesterday against this dude. Now, I'm not going to lie. I lost the first game because I it was all on me because I missed all my shots, right? Uh, I changed. I came back around, changed my jump shot, and this is the result. Started off with the ball. We played good defense, so we got the ball back. Now, look, I'm making him dance around the screen, hoping he gets hit in the animation. I get enough space for a shot. I white it, but I still made it. Now, I'm not going to lie. A lot of the times in this game, I think I made, like, two whites in this game. That was one of them. 
So I did get lucky. Right here, it's the same thing, bro. Look, I'm just making him dance across the screen. I'm not even going that way. For some reason, he went around. You see, I get an open face, so I went for it. You see how the center is literally, he's hedging, but he's not really contesting the shot. You know when you have enough space, you have enough space, you shoot the fade. Right here, I'm having a little I'm trouble trying to get, get my, like him you to hit the screen. And that's because my center is setting the screen too far away from me. He actually hits it this time, and then I get an open fade for a green. Now, off the inbound, you see again, my center is setting the screen way too far away from the other guard but somehow i still get away and get another fade bro if you have a center if you're talking to your center and you know your center you guys have chemistry let them know to set the screen closer to you now you see i get a wide open three right there i make it i made another white and i'm pretty sure that was the last white i made this game the usual dancing behind the screen trying to make them hit the screen i get a little nice behind the back i go for a goofy fade i get a goofy fade animation but i have patience I wait till I, my feet are set and then I get a green in the corner wide open. We're up 15 zip at this point. Like I said, the score is 15 to zip. Now they did have a chance to get the ball. I did miss a shot in between clips, but they blew it. So we got the ball back. Now look right here. You'll see I went around the run around the center. I got a green, but that's only because I actually know the timing of that fade because I get it a lot because I do it on accident. All right. So right here, you see he, he choked, bro. He missed the wide open midi wide open white. He crabbed me. I went around the three point line, got the easy green and that's game over so we beat them 21 to 7 now i'm not gonna lie i was low-key not satisfied with that win if you know me i'm a competitive person i want to actually win and i want to feel fulfilled by that win so since we lost the first game i missed all my shots and in this game i made two whites i kind of felt like we shouldn't have won that game so i messaged him to come back around for a third game and he didn't want to come back around so uh so whatever so that's pretty much it you would think a lot of people would understand this but a lot of people do not understand this a lot of people are trash number one you don't need to be missing your shots if you miss your shots you're basically selling your team two however their center is reacting to the screens the guard being hit by the screens that's how you want to play so if, if their center is stepping up every time switching on you you just want to throw a lob or you want to pass it to the guard right if he's not, you just want to shoot fades all game. And then every now and then, you'll get an open three and just hit your shots, bro. Backwards. Like Charlemagne, I see the light and see the darkest patches. <laughs> Babe, on the 33rd. When I said it, they cursing me. It ain't dirty words. <laughs> this nigga drag is a goat, bro. This nigga said Sanders Rose. No wonder they trying to pick me off, bro. This nigga's a goat, bro. I'm trying to tell y'all, man. So bar. Oh, Lord. All right, let's get it. Let me turn the volume down because I don't want to get copyrighted for this. All right. So this is the build that you have all been waiting for. All right. So I already posted a video on this build. If we being realistic, I already posted a video on this build. But I'm going to just give you some insight. I'm going to redo it because I'm going to give you some insight on what I didn't know. Because low key, I was sleeping on this build, bro. I was using the other. Why would I? Why, am, why in the world was I using a two-way slash and playmate? Why? Why was I doing that? But look, we're going to get straight into the bit. All right. So. The chart that you want to use is this one, like almost half playmaking, almost half shooting. All right, so this is the this is the chart that you want to use. I don't know how far down it is. Hold on, let me see. Let me count for y'all since some of y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's six. All right, that was for all the centers that may be uh, watching this video trying to get into uh, guards. But uh, yeah, so physical profile. You want to use the top one because it's the fastest. You get the best acceleration and speed. Everything else is kind of trash. All right, so look, right now, I have 15 badge upgrades left still, right? Now, before when I made this build, I had my shot close at 85 maxed out so I can get four play make, I mean, four finishing badges. But at this point, it's no point of having four finishing badges because you're just going to have a bronze badge and it's, it makes no sense. All you need on this build is contact finisher because otherwise you will only get four. It doesn't really make a difference, right? So also what I had on here before is I had my post fade. I'm pretty sure I had it maxed out and I got 22 badges or 23 badges, something around there. I took some off of my post fade so I can get 20 shooting badges. You do not need that many shooting badges, bro. All you need is the diamond. You need dead eye. You need quick draw. You need range extender. And there's one more I'm missing. There's one more I'm missing. I'm missing one of, one of them, but you know what I'm talking about, right? So my ball handling is at 88 which will be increased once you uh you know shorten your wingspan the passing accuracy you might say it's 76 it's, it's, that's terrible right but if you want your build name to be a shot creator you have to have a 76 or under ball control or else you're not going to be called a shot creator now if you don't care this is what i this, if you don't care max that joint out to 88 and you get 19 playmaking badges which is way better than 15 which is what i have on my regular build 
Now, if you do this, you're gonna be called a playmaking shot creator. Now, to be honest with you, if this is day one of the game coming out, I don't really like. I cared about my the name of my build because you know YouTube purposes. I wanted to be. I didn't want to have a playmaking shot creator. I just wanted a pure shot creator, right? I've always wanted a pure shot creator. So if you don't care, bro, just go ahead and max this out. You can get up to 20. So you can have 20 shooting, 20 playmaking, 8 defensive rebounding, and 3 finishing. Now this is probably the best way to make this build. The only thing I took off was some of my close shot, some of my post fade, and some of my one of my defensive rebounding so I don't lose any uh, defensive badges. And I just slapped it on post moves, passing accuracy, and we got 20, 20 badges, all right? Now that's the best way to make this build. If you want my actual build, this is what my exact build is. So make sure you pause the video, make sure you take a screenshot, do whatever you gotta do, copy these settings, all right? For my height, I made his height 6'5". Now this is useful, I didn't know at the time, but well, I kind of did, but that's why I made up 6.5. But now 6.5 is also good for layups and dunks. Now, you see my driving dunk is at 70, right? If I make them 6.5, it's at 70. My driving layup gets lowered down to 75. You get a lot of, like, contact layups. Not contact layups, but contested layups that go in. Like, I get a lot of 50%, 53% covered layups. And if you go with your right hand and with the layup package I'm going to give you, you can easily, you can easily get contested layups all the time. I promise you. Driving dunk, I have my driving dunk at 70, but you can still get contact dunks. Now, it's not the contact animation dunks that you're used to, that you that you think I'm talking about, but you can still get contact dunks. Like, you can still dunk over people, and they won't get it like a block animation or anything. All right, so make them 6'5". Now, for the weight, I made him 175, right? His strength goes down a bit, but it doesn't really matter because you're a point guard, right? So you're not going to be strong anyway. So, you, I turned it down to 175. Your lateral quickness goes up, and that's very useful in this game because your player be living like moving like he in molasses or something. I don't know. Then, for the wingspan, turn that all the way down. We need the ball handling back, right? So, right now, you're going to have an 87, three, I mean, 87 mid-range. You're going to have an 88 three-point. You're going to have a 90 free throw, which doesn't really matter. And then your ball handling is going to go back up to 87 so you can speed boost now, right? The longer your wingspan, bro, the better defense you're going to be able to play. And in this game, I, I hate the defense, bro. People just, like, slide by you baseline. If you have a longer wingspan, it's not going to happen, right? So, right now for my build, my exact build, I went with 87 ball control. But you can actually go 86 and you can get away with it, right? And then when you hit 99, you can get 90 ball control. That's what I have right now. I have 91, though. So... For this build, I'm going to just go with 87 ball control, and I'm going to go with uh, 88 three-point shot, 87 mid-range, and that's what we're going to go with. For the takeover, it's no point of picking slash and takeover because you can't get contact dunks, but you can get slash and takeover on this build. Uh, Playmaking takeover, you can do it, but at this point, it's a shot creator build, so you probably want to use shot creating takeover. Now, right now, you see we have a playmaking shot creator build, all right? So, I'm going to tell you all the badges that you want to use on this build. I have my player max all the way out. All right, so we're going to start off with the shooting badges, all right? Now, the diamond I was talking about was Hall of Fame Deadeye, Hall of Fame Green Machine, Hot Zone Hunter, Quick Jaw, and then you want range extender or hall of fame too all right these are all the badges that you need all these other badges difficult shots it doesn't make a difference volume shooter you can use it but that's only if you have extra badges all you need is these five badges and that's literally all you need to be successful in this game at shooting all right now for the playmaking badge you already know these two right here hall of fame put them on hall of fame off the gate unpluggable i'll put it on golden hall of fame tight handles definitely put that hall of fame uh and then the rest is up to you to be real with you you can use ankle breaker uh you can use dimer you can use hall of fame floor general if you want to you can use space creator if you do a lot of you know hop steps and stuff try to break ankles but for right now i'm gonna just put i'm gonna just use this bad setup uh yeah that's pretty much it so for the defensive badges you already know what time it is bro gold clamps silver intimidator gold pick dodgers that's literally all you need in this game anything else is kind of useless now for the finishing badges now on my actual build i have four this build you have three and all you need is contact finisher that's it there's no point of having a, a a bronze badge like i would just put it on bronze fancy footwork and low-key no fancy footwork and bronze fancy footwork bro like those are kind of better than like silver gold and anything else if it's not hall of fame it's not gonna be as good so that's pretty much it for the badges. All right, so now we're back on my player. Woo, this park is jumping. Hold up, what's going on? Now, as you see, I have not hit <laughs> SS2, bro. I'm literally 97% to 
to SS2, bro, but nobody wanted to play late night, bro, but whatever. I'm gonna hit it any anytime soon, so whatever. Look out for that. All right, now for the animations, these are my current animations that I have right now, all right? So, dribble style I have. Actually, let's go over the jump shots. Now, the jump shot... This is D-Wade, um, it's D-Wade base. Somebody in my comment section told me to put it on. It's like 98, but a bigger green window. Uh, I'm testing it out right now, I'm not sure, so don't, don't listen to me on that, all right? Now, for the dribble pull-ups, normal four, that is the way to go. If you made my build, my exact build, normal four is the way to go. I don't know what it is, but normal four, I promise you, it is the way to go. Dribble style, I got Allen Iverson. Size of package, now I ain't trying to hear nobody say, Bro, for for a whole month and a half, I was bullied into using anything other than Kobe Bryant. But at this point, bro, if I'm playing on this player, all I'm doing is using screens. I can ice on this build if, with Kobe Bryant escape, so it doesn't really matter. But most of the time, I'm playing with anybody. If I play on this build, I'm playing with anybody. Most of the time, centers that can't shoot, so I'm using screens. And all I need to do across the screen is make my the other player hit it. And Kobe Bryant escape is the best way to make somebody hit it, and it's probably like the fastest way to speed boost in this game. I don't know what it is, but it, that's why I'm using it. Moving crossover, I have Pro 5, Pro 3 behind the back, moving spins, Pro 3, hesitations, Pro 5, and this hesitation is mean, bro. People, a lot of people use like Pro 8 and Pro 3 or Pro 3 or something like that. I use Pro 5 because, bro, the speed boost that you get out of it, especially if you're trying to fade, you get a mean speed boost out of it. And most of the time, you take off so fast, the, uh, the bro, the dude that's guarding you can't keep up with you. All you gotta do is go to the corner, shoot a fade. It's that easy, I promise you. So that's the main reason why I use this hesitation, because it's fast and nobody can keep up with it. Now for the layups, this is very important. This right here is very important. The layups, you want to use long athlete. If you're not using long athlete with this build, especially if you have them at 6'5", you're doing something wrong, because this is how you get the contested layups. All right. If you purposely go up your, with your right hand or left hand, whichever hand you need to go up with, if you use long athlete, bro, they're not going to be able to block the shot. Unless they are literally slender men in the flesh, I promise you, they will not be able to block this uh, this layup. I promise you. Another thing is, this is actually the animation. Uh, well, I know this is from 2K19. This is actually the animation, the layup package that Giannis uses. So that's how I know it's not going to be. You can't block it, bro. Because Giannis, you're not going to block Giannis. I promise you, you're not. So dunks have basic handers off one. I'm pretty sure these are free. This one isn't free, I don't think. Quick drops off one. And then athletic one handers off two. And that's basically it. Actually, I don't think I said hop jumper. Hop jumper, normal 14. If you get your shot carry to take over, make sure you do a little a little hop jumper. If you're going to the corner, the center switches on you, do a little hop jumper. If you have your takeover, you'll get an ankle breaker every time, I promise you. Also, if you actually remember the timing, you don't have your shot meter on, it's easy to time, easy to hit. I promise you, you'll be goaded with this. Now, I literally just gave you a full guide to the shot creator build, all right? I just gave you a full guide. If you still cannot keep up, if you're still trash after this video, I don't know what to say, bro. <laughs> I don't because I literally just gave you the keys to being a shot creator and being unguardable in this game. Now, when I say being unguardable, I mean running across screens, shooting fades, shooting threes when you're open. I promise you, I just like like I literally just gave you a full guide. Like if you're a trash after this, I feel bad for you, bro. Just practice, bro. Just practice. Hey.